Let's find out what's down here. Hello, underground. Oh, we're, we're, we can actually see into the water. Oh, it's self-contained. It's not a hallway. Thought I might go somewhere. Oh, this is freaky sounding. This is some really good... That's some really good interior sounds. What is your deal? A what? A blue square that's hollow. I mean, there's only one solution, right? No, there's not. Apparently. Okay, so... I've been adding these shapes together. Does the hollow shape mean we're subtracting? Do I remove one? I do. We're doing math right now? That's what these mean, ultimately? Okay. Everything minus two. No? Oh, is it minus two off of all of them? No, it's not. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So th these contain... These would contain the entire board on their own. Wait, do I need to go this way? No. And not two at the end? No, that one did work. Oh, it's... Does it subtract? The subtraction has to be in that shape. Okay. The subtraction has to be in the specific shape of the subtraction is what we established here. So you have, the two you remove have to be next to each other like that. So this is the outer perimeter of the entire maze, is what the yellow means. And we're cutting one of them out. That's not easy to do, actually. We have to cut out one square, but still draw the shape. Ha! Huh. Where is the easiest place to do that? Oh yeah, it'd be one of the sidebars. So like over here... There we go. I was thinking of corners and it looked hard, but yeah, you just cut off in the middle of the wall and you can easily do that. Am I draining the water? Is that a underwater? That thing over there looks underwater. What did I just do? Oh no, that... Even the solution... <laughs> even the solution looks like you're puncturing a hole in the side of a capsule. Did I just... Drain the water? What did I do? So it was going into the yellow chamber. Are these two colors gonna mix? Is the blue getting in? Or did it look like... Did it look like that before? Or is the blue water actually getting into this chamber? And then, is it turning it green? It looks like I might have just let one of the colors flood into the other one, but I can't quite tell. I'm not entirely sure if I'm thinking the right way. Still all looks yellow from here, that's for sure. Let's just check real quick. 215 solved. Also, they're apparently in multiple files. I'm not sure how I cut them into separate files. Maybe the game checkpoints you. Anyway. Good to get a number on that every now and then. Anything else in this chamber? That looks oddly maze-like, that little lack of stain down there, but I don't think that's what we're doing here. Alright, I got all the way to the bottom and I solved that, but I don't know what it did necessarily. We'll find out. Did the blue previously look like it was kind of... rising off from its own surface? Like it's... It looks like the area above the blue kind of glows with the blue. Oh, can I walk on... The, I can walk on this rock. Don't know if that accomplishes anything, but I can. Anyway. Moving on back. So we still need to power these cables. Oh, did I power them both? So this blue one's powered. So now we just need to try to power the other cable, presumably, which must be going over there. And then we'd probably be able to go into the subterranean, or uh, the subaquatic version on the other side. Can I go down here already? I can. Oh, what's your deal? Whoa, I need to change the water colors. If I want to do these two environment puzzles, I need to make the water this color and this color separately. Right now it's the... The water appears to be red right now, and I need to make it yellow or orange? Oh, hello. 
A poet once said, the whole universe is in a glass of wine. We will probably never know in what sense he meant that, for poets do not write to be understood. But it is true that if we look at a glass of wine closely enough, we see the entire universe. There are the things of physics, the twisting liquid which evaporates depending on the wind and weather, the reflections in the glass, and our imagination adds the atoms. The glass is a distillation of the Earth's rocks, and in its composition, we see the secrets of the universe's age and the evolution of stars. What strange array of chemicals are in the wine? How did they come to be? There are the ferments, the enzymes, the substrates, and the products. There in wine is found the great generalization. All life is fermentation. Nobody can discover the chemistry of wine without discovering, as did Louis Pasteur, the cause of much disease. How vivid is the claret, pressing its existence into the consciousness that watches it. If our small minds, for some convenience, divide this glass of wine, this universe, into parts, physics, biology, geology, astronomy, psychology, and so on, remember that nature does not know it. So let us put it all back together, not forgetting ultimately what it is for. Let it give us one more final pleasure. Drink it and forget it all. Richard Feynman, 1963. Oh, we're doing Feynman quotes now. Okay. Talking about how discovery how, talking about how discovery leads to death in some ways. This one might I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to just draw this one out and move, th move them around a lot. Because this one has a lot of shapes to visualize at once. Oh, do I have it? Do I, I might have it. Holy shit, I got it. <laughs> Okay, so that's what it looks like when you take all these pieces and mix them to, and uh, overlap them all. Or not overlap them all. So ba it appears to be every single unique Tetris piece, basically, all mixed together. I should really just save this file for later, shouldn't I? Oh, it just clicked for me what the big mistake is I'm making. I'm rotating them. I have to not rotate them. Okay. I'll go back to my diagram. And I'll specifically rotate them all so that they're facing the way that they're supposed to be facing, and then I'll just slide them around. I made this slightly more complicated than it has to be. There we go. So now they should all be matching the orientation of their original shapes, I believe. Should be good to go. Yeah, now I just need to slide these things around until they all fit together. Alright, that's that reduces the number of solutions so that it could be easier. Could still be here a while though, trying to slide these things together. Oh man, the Talos Principle sends its regards, huh? We're back in that territory. Oh yeah, trying to fit these together is going to be really specific and weird when they can't rotate. I think this is it. I think I've... 
After much insanity, I believe, now without rotating, I now have my final solution right here. Alright. So second from the bottom right, and then the top corner. Please, please work. I've been out here for a while. Okay, so... This one... This one... Yes. Now it is due. I don't know what I did. Ooh, are you gonna change color? I don't know if you changed color or not. Don't know what's going on with those things either, but I'm just gonna... You know what? I'm just gonna be happy with solving... We'll deal with these weird things later that somehow involve changing color of the water. Because we haven't figured out how to do that yet, necessarily, but... At least I solved the quiz. So you were already... You were already blue, right? No colors have changed yet, I don't think. I don't think so. So, let's continue forward this way. That's all broken off, can't go that way. At all. Okay, have I solved enough to gain access to the beginning again? Like, down there is solved... If I loop you back around, can I go back? Let's see, that involved going... Do I do that again? Jesus. Uh, make it go around red and... Uh, red and black might not be possible. I guess it doesn't matter, because I don't need it to ro rotate to red. I need green... Let's do blue and red, black. Okay. Blue and black. Oh yeah, the specific combination of doing red and... And, uh... Black might not even be possible. It might have just been the starting position, but I don't know if I could actually draw the shape to make it work that way. Either way, it's unnecessary, because it's... That whole side is obliterated. Uh, the cable's not lit up, which does not bode well for me. But I don't think that path is going to get me over there. So I think either way I have to go somewhere else. Hey, you're still drained. There's the black cable, which apparently comes to here. But what about back here? Did the blue... Oh, it goes both ways. The blue drained this one, but then whatever I do in the blue is going to send that along drain the other one. Okay, so this is, this is available now. Are you just going to get harder? I'm getting scared a little bit now. This one's red. Oh, this one's almost... This might be doable. No? Is it still the wrong color or something? Is it supposed to look like this? Not entirely sure what's going on with those ones yet. We'll find out. Ooh, there's a whole sequence here. Maybe it'll be easier. So... One, two, three, four... But these, so... Um... Should be able to just make this pattern, oops, of the T-shape. It has the two of them, it has four up and four across, but they're overlapping, but there's also a minus one. There we go. That works fine. So these ones are similar, but there's... It's minus two. So just do the same thing again? No. One, two, th th one, two, three, four, and then one, two. Oh, I didn't contain them in the shape. Ooh. Okay. So just make the vertical go here. And the horizontal go here. So if I do it this way. Oh, but it's not contained. That does not work either. So go four across. We have to do the four up and down because it's the only way to contain these together. But I also have to somehow touch that. Can it be the middle part? Is this possible? That worked, huh? Okay. Oh, because it... After the conversion, it's three across and three up and down, basically. So it's gonna cut one off of them each, basically. Oh man, you have to think in some really strange ways for some of this stuff. Some of these puzzles might break me. I think this is the one where things get fully complicated, where... I could spend a long time looking at one of these. Okay, so... We need to go across to get that. We also need to grab those. We can delete one. Let's say do four across and then do an L shape and just cut off the end part. That should be enough. Did it win this? Yep. Easy one. Okay, getting weirder. Now we can essentially delete an entire piece of the puzzle. Which is strange in its own right. Well, these two are the same puzzle flipped. 
Meaning they can make a perfect six. But if I do that, we won't be touching that. So... That doesn't quite work. If you put these two back to back, they'd create L shapes like this. And then you put these two... Oh, I was gonna say you put these right here and they'd fit, but you, they'd get deleted. Oh! What if this is to teach me that you can t delete part of the middle of the structure? Because if this formed an L here, and this formed an L here... This one right here would form an L right here. Touching that, and that, and that, and that. And then would this, maybe this would delete these two? Let's see. So that cut these two off, perhaps? Nope. And I can't... Let's see. Yeah, okay. I need a different pattern altogether, then. Uh, part of me thinks, like, these two could fit... Uh, these two could fit as a column of six right here. And this could fit on the end. But then this isn't attached to it to delete four of them in the first place. I just realized my mistake. I did it again, just like earlier, where I was accidentally rotating stuff and not thinking about the fact that things can't rotate. So let's think about things just being where they are right now. So this goes like that. And this goes like that. That's an overlap of two. That would consume two of the things, okay? But if this was up here, that'd be once again an overlap. That'd be an overlap of one. Which doesn't quite work. Because with an overlap of one, we're only at three so far. So what if I cut off this uh, tail over here? Is, is that the solution? It is, okay. So this thing's here wholeheartedly, basically. And then imagine that... Did I just break my brain a little bit trying to re-explain what I just did? <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, yeah, so one full thing is missing, basically. Yeah, yeah, okay, so imagine this thing is fully here, all four pieces, and then two of each of these are here. One, two, one, two. With, in both cases, the far end and the top of each of them was cut off. Yeah, okay. Wow. I solved it and then broke myself. Oh, this one's weird. Okay. Two deletions. So basically, this thing can be incorporated into this thing in a way where two of them are going to get deleted. Oh, but you have to try to create a solid mass. That also makes this weird. Because we can't have these internal pores. So that basically means since this thing can't rotate, it has to be right here in the middle part. It has to be right... Oopsie. Right here is where the uh, T place has to be because we have to take out those pores on the inside. Alternatively... Nope, that's the only place I see that it can be. It's, these two pores cannot be allowed to exist, and that's the only way you can overlap them with this current shape without rotating it, which we're not allowed to rotate. So then the, it comes down to which other piece are we going to delete? Because that deletes one, but we have to delete two. And these are thankfully already a part of the grid. So I think ideally I would delete this one, because it's probably awkwardly in my way. So... Let's plan accordingly. So... We're gonna delete the top left corner. So go around here. I'm just tracing the outline of the scattered pattern we see over there. But of course that doesn't work because now I'm trapped. I both can't draw the last piece and I'm stuck altogether. Which causes me some problems. So... Pick a different one to delete then. Oh, I see what we can do. What if, I, what if I can put it in the top corner, it would delete this one. But to get, to get rid of some problematic pore space stuff going on, we could also delete that one. Perhaps? So do, take out these two on the bottom. Then this is all a... Oh. Now I've still caused myself a problem here. Because I can't... Okay. So these two things touch each other, which means we more or less have to get rid of them. Because we, uh... Um... Unless there's another way to solve this. No? Yeah, the, the problem here is that... When you have multiple consecutive things getting uh, deleted along the wall, is that at some point, you lead to a, a corner-type situation where you get stuck. And you can't finish doing that. 
There's also the issue where we have to have a pattern where we're going to somehow end up here because we can't backtrack at all when we're tracing the wall the whole way. Which means, ideally, I would get rid of one of the ones above me or near me so that I don't have to try to loop back around for it. Okay, so here's an idea. We put it here like I originally planned, the T-shape. But because this one keeps getting in my way, we'll delete this one so that it stops being that kind of... Sp oh, wait. Delete this corner. Yeah, delete this corner and it'll stop causing us problems. We'll see how this plays out. I, don't, I haven't necessarily planned it all the way through. So this... We got rid of this thing right here, basically. So that's not an issue. This still has to be porous. This has to be porous. And the rest is taken over by the T-shape. Got it. There we go. Alright. Yeah, the, I, I uh, expect more and more jump cuts as these get more complicated. You... I guess you guys don't necessarily even see the jump cuts because nothing's moving on the screen most of the time, but we suddenly jump forward towards me having a better idea of how to solve the the puzzle. So what's up with your special brand of crazy? Are you already solved? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, th yeah, you're already solved. Wait. Is this thing a capsule? I'm sorry, can this- can this entire chamber move? Is that what I'm supposed to take from this thing? I guess I'll find out. Let's see what happens when I connect this. Like this. Is it gonna cl are we gonna move? That thing's moving. That's just the elevator upstairs though, huh? Oh, okay, it's just an alternate control for that in case we get stuck. Never mind. I got really excited that something crazy was going to happen. Oh, wait. <gasps> While it moves further away, it gets lighter. Because more blue gets in the way of the... Oh, God. Okay. So the further away it is... Oh, I missed my chance. I missed my chance. Let's bring it back. I had the realization too late of what was going on there. As it moves around, the uh, color of it changes as it mixes with the blue. And so when it matches perfectly with this color, I can actually sit here and act, uh, and drag it. Come on, we're getting really close now, and... Now? There it is. Got it. Wow, that was a cool moment. That That's why they put that here. They specifically put that here so you can realize what's going on while that thing moves. That means that the rotating... Was the window we had... Was it facing... Okay, I don't know what this one's facing. Did this one have one of those puzzles in it? No, this one did not have that in it. That's why... That's why it stood out later. But the other one... The, uh, yes, the underground area... Looks like it might be facing... No, it's not. It's, it's facing that direction, huh? Or this direction? Yeah, never mind. The under... It doesn't look like the... Uh... Oh, wait, no. Was it down there? It was at the end of the hallway, wasn't it? So it, it probably is facing this thing. So what direction this thing's facing actually plays a role in what that puzzle solution is, I think. Interesting. So earlier I made a remark about how it's not possible to, to do certain combinations that was generally false. Just because uh, there's two starting points and two exit points. So that was the, my misconception. I'm going to connect purple to red this time. Just for the specific purpose of connecting things that are different from what we connected last time. Because I think connecting different stuff will lead to us getting the proper connections we need to make certain colors happen over there. I'm not entirely certain, but I think that's what we're going to get here. So I, if I remember correctly, it is over there and the window's facing here, I think. Let's double check. No, I'm totally full of it. Because the uh, thing I'm rotating should be over there. And over here is everything else. Huh, how do you change the color of whatever's over here? What is ultimately over there? The solution I did didn't seem to affect the color of the water. And we seem to be lacking in things to do to play with the water around here. Yeah, the windows ultimately face over to the left. There. So I think we need access to red. I think we may need access to red in order to do anything over there. And I don't know how to get to red, actually. 
Because the path near the beginning doesn't go there. So how do you get over here? Is there anything I can see from over here, maybe? I don't see a switch over there. This is a dead end. Alright, let's take a look around. A fairly strange point is the fact that this bridge... We've established... Oh, never mind, here it is. For a second there, I'm like, how, how did we end up with not having a proper bridge here? Let's see, do I just... create a straight line across? Yeah, looks like that's what I need. Just rotate that across. Is it cutting off? Yeah, that thing's a maze over there, so I'm probably cutting that off. But... I'll deal with that later, perhaps? I'm pretty sure that is one of them, but, uh... I don't think you can solve it from across over... I don't think you can necessarily solve it from over there, for example. There's a weird shadow and glare problem happening here. Huh. Might be able to solve it from across the bridge, but I can't do that from here. These things take their sweet time, by the way. Here we go, it's more or less rotated in place. It really goes slowly. So there's nothing to do on this part, because it's just a collapsed piece of purple. Whoa. Oh, that was the sound of it locking in place. This is all dead end right here. But it looks like I can climb up here. It gives me something, at least. Ooh, I can walk along here for a bit? That has some perspective, some chance of giving me a certain perspective somewhere. A certain line of sight, perhaps, to draw something. Or maybe even access. What is that over there? A boat, I guess? We'll probably do, well, I'm sure we'll be doing a boat tour. Ooh, hello. This blob right here is probably a path. What's with the spikes over there, by the way? There's some weirdness happening over there. I, let's see, I thought this might give me access to a hidden maze. And it might, but I don't see it at the moment. Let's go ahead and take the path itself and see what we get. Ooh, that tree's got a short future. Judging by the way it's hanging down there. Hello. Keeping an eye out for an audio log. This feels like a place they'd put one. Ooh, I could probably do that one over here. But I have to get that bridge out of the way. There's another one over there. Oh, look at you. Let's see here. Is that one too? Oh, there's going to be some really annoying and slow bridge manipulation happening here, isn't there? Alright. I think we'll get to that in a moment. But that's going to be agonizing. That's got to be one too, I think, from a certain perspective. Alright, let's take a look at what's up here before first. Partly because I just don't want to deal with that bridge right now. It goes so slow. But I see the solution. There's a lot of really awkward moving the bridge back and forth and waiting for it to move out of the way so you can play with things. Yeah, that has to be useful for something. But I don't know how long you can get the ridge to look. At some point we'll get over in those nice tree houses. Oh, it's a crashed boat. As I would have expected. Columnar jointing! Columnar jointing! We found columnar jointing. Nothing else matters now. Oh, those look like colors. Those look like lots of colors over there. What's up here? Columnar jointing. At some point, video games just fell in love with columnar jointing out of nowhere. It's just everywhere all of a sudden. And I'm not complaining, but man, do I see it everywhere. Ooh, top of the head. Ooh, you can see the supports that make the structure in the first place. Another nice top view of a big chunk of the map. And it looks like that path goes to the top. Dare I visit it? You know what, I wanna, I wanna leave that as a surprise. Whatever's up there, I don't want to look at it yet. That's the thing that all the lasers are pointing at. So let's check it out when I'm more when I have a more complete setup. Just because I feel like it'll be ahead of things a bit to check it out now. So what do we have over here? There's a laser. Oh, and we have colors. Three different colors. Red, blue, and purple. There's the laser. Cord goes here. Cord is upstairs on that terminal. But how do I get to that terminal? Well, I probably have to go do something involving this elevator. Oh man, we are going to be doing some color puzzles here, aren't we? 
This place looks neat. Alright. I think I'm gonna go finally- I think I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, bite my lip and just- Ooh, bamboo area. Wow, the visuals change- look at this. Nice ash-colored columnar joining here from the volcanic rock. And then over there, just giant bamboo garden. And then there's a straight-up, like, California-style redwood forest, it looks like. And that's over there is where the red laser's been going. There's a dock down there. Probably another area over there before we reach the do the uh, location we started at. We're getting... It feels like we're getting close to circumnavigating the island just because we're getting close to the point where I can see where I started, but... Think about all those locations and how they all have... They pro all probably have their own complicated puzzles in them. We'll be... Spending a while at each. All right, I'm gonna slowly move this bridge around until I have the right positions for puzzles. Alright, I think I can see one of them now. Boom! That's the easy one, probably. There's one that goes through here... ...and through there. Let's see... I probably need to separate... Is that a thing too? No. Nope. So I probably need to set the bridge in its alternate state. My concern is just how do I even get over here without using that bridge? I wonder if I should... I might, I might want to do the long-term investment of setting the bridge in the alternate state, like the way I found it originally. And then I might have to just find this location from the other side. Maybe I just need to circ- maybe I just need to go around the entire island from the other direction. Although we haven't explored those locations yet. Yeah. So, uh, because I think if I- I can't detach this bridge properly, really, can I? Maybe I can, actually. I'll just be trapping myself here, potentially, is the worry. YOLO? I don't know. Let's go ahead and attach you. Is that the wrong amount? Oops, my bad. Okay, there it goes. So that's coming back, and this is gonna go rotate outward. Oh wait, hang on! I can solve it from up on that cliff, so I guess you can't strand yourself because of the way that you can have sort of like an infinite line of sight thing going on. That makes sense, so I'm not really trapping myself. I'll be fine. I just need that bridge to get out of the way so I can do these things. Uh-oh. Oh, I gotta be on the dot on this one. Because the other one's coming in. Oh! Quickly! Out of my way! Go, 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 Yeah! There we go. That one combines both of them, so I had to get them both out of the way. Kind of stumbled into that one a little bit, but I got it. I noticed it in time is the important thing. Now I'm just waiting for this guy. There we go, that's three of them. Going off to an obelisk that's... I don't know, somewhere. <laughs> somewhere else. I'm a little f afraid of how many things might be on those obelisks now. Let's take a look here. I'm at 222 plus 32. Alright, I've solved 32 environmental puzzles so far. Or, located... Located 32 environmental tadpoles, anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and take a break here. I've been going on for a while in this particular session. So thanks for watching like always, guys. This place got a bit involved, didn't it? And I will see you guys next time up in that colorful flower bed place we saw a moment ago.